So, folks, our friend, candidate for office in New York's 15th District, Jose Vega, had a run-in with the great Paul Krugman. He tweets out, I confronted the no-ball laureate Paul Krugman, net worth $5 million, along with a panel of fellow New York Times mouthpieces, as they blathered about how the perspective concerning the election could be so different from the numbers he and his quackademic economist associates put forward to drive the big lie that inflation is down and the economy is strong. I like the use of capital letters and quote marks and quackademic. You know, if the election doesn't work out, Jose, and Trump wins, you could write his speeches. Yeah, you his, could write his speeches. His, yeah. his, 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 well, especially yeah. his, his truth social tweets because yeah, he's got yeah. the he's got the language pattern down yeah, with the yeah, he's and got the it. capital he's got letters. It. Yeah. So that's just something to keep in mind. Meanwhile, people in the South Bronx, where I'm an independent candidate for federal office and all across the United States, suffer from a financial collapse brought about by the uh, Harris, Cheney, xenophobic and suicidal foreign policy as our livelihoods are bled for an open society project in Ukraine and the Eretz Israel of the Zionists. Okay, so here is this video. This is pretty raucous stuff. Uh oh, no ball prize winning economist here to tell us how great the economy is. I certainly wonder how the residents of Asheville, North Carolina must be feeling right now with no access to power or water or communication with the outside world. I wonder how enthusiastic they are about the economy right now. I wonder how enthusiastic the residents of the South Bronx must be feeling about the economy. Hey, maybe North Carolina should rename itself Israel so it'll get $20 billion in aid. Or oh. maybe Ukraine so it can get $300 billion in aid. Maybe the South Bronx should do the same thing. I mean, I'm sure the economy is great for smug liberals like yourself who make $5 million and are worth $5 million. I'm sure the economy must be great for all you smug journalists, economists. All of you must be having a great time with the economy when most people can't even pay for basic necessities, for people who are getting evicted because they can't pay their rent. Because over in the South Bronx, just a few miles away from here, there are portions of buildings that are literally collapsing. And I'm supposed to give a shit about the stock market. You want to know why the presidential election is tied right now? Because our money is being sent to Israel and Ukraine so that they can continue to bomb innocent women and children. You think that's a great economy? I'm sure Israel, with their free health care, is having a great time with American taxpayer money. Hey, is anyone here going to talk about the fact that we could be in war with Iran in a few days? Or do we need to focus on the S&P 500? Is that what actually matters? Huh? The S&P 500? When most people may not even be alive here in a few days just because we're on the verge of nuclear war? Hey, listen to me, Mr. Krugman. Your degree is worthless. You might as well use it as paperweight because it means nothing. I hope you enjoy the dead children that the economy is powering. Our economy is definitely very powerful right now. All that stock market money goes to the military complex so that more innocent women and children are dead. And fuck off with the New York Times, the liberal apologist for war and genocide. You all fucking suck. People need to wake up right now and we need to have peace. We can work with China. We can work with Russia. We don't need to start war with Iran. Whew. All right, I'm good. I'm good. We're good. <laughs> I love that. As soon as they get out, he's like, and scene. All right, cut. Fellas, good job. All right, let's take that from the top. Let's, let's go do that one more time. Uh, I feel like you'd use one more take of that. Yeah, I love how immediately after yeah. getting out, it tells the cops, all right, I'm good. And yeah. the cop was actually, because we saw the extended cut, he put out another tweet with another cut. The cop was actually very nice. The cop was like, yeah. be safe, all right? You know, like the cop was not an asshole. The cop, I mean, he had to take him out of there, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the cop was actually very cool uh, and actually, you know, like had some some nice, not not supportive words of what he did but he wasn't like get the fuck out of here kid he's like be safe out there yeah. um not but, all heroes wear capes that's right but you know i mean uh he was well prepared for that one because it took them a long time to come and get him so he had like a whole mm -hmm. speech prepared like 
Well, you know, when I do this, I assume that people are going to live with the couple, the when I do this, like regularly, I've done it like three times. Um, I assume they're going to, you know, escort me out within 10 seconds. And I've been right mm -hmm. when that's happened mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, you know, I, I've been dragged out, you know, very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, look, these images out of the Southeast now, uh, of communities underwater set against the billions of dollars that we have shipped overseas to destroy other countries. I mean, this is why I say, folks, this is why I say, and here, I'll put it very, I'll, I'll, I will be very careful in my words this time. This is why the demise of the American empire is to be celebrated, not to be mourned. I am not advocating for the demise of American society or the suffering of American people. I want the American people to, I want the, hold on, let me finish this because it'd be, I want the American people to prosper and live in peace. I want the American empire to be destroyed as it currently functions, because this is an example of empire. What Jose was talking about there is an example of the just insidious nature of this empire that we have a whole band of our country right now underwater with hundreds of people missing probably tragically dead at this point mm -hmm. and we are sending billions of dollars to start world war three on two fronts with a genocide thrown in for good measure so this is why as an entity as an imperial entity i welcome the demise of the united states i do not root for the demise of the United States as a place with people living in it. I want peace within these borders. I want my fellow citizens to have good lives. But this thing of ours, put in mob speak, it's it's ours, coming yeah. to an end and it it has to. It has to. This is no longer intrinsically good for America or the world. And that's fucking obvious. And I will not back down from that point no matter what. Well, just make it that way. Well, I did. Make the point that way. That's lovely. Yeah. That's lovely. Now now, now you've gone from nihilist to humanitarian. Yeah. See yeah, how yeah. easy it is? Yeah. Or originally, Gandhi started <laughs> out saying, fuck India. But then he <laughs> right. learned. Right, yeah, he yeah learned exactly. That, that message yeah. was being misinterpreted. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Jose, God bless him, man. <laughs> like, that was a pretty, pretty long uh, speech he laid on them um, there. And Krugman uh, it really apparently has never heard of the Streisand effect because he, he blew this up. Like it was getting a little traction. Yeah. Until he, he did this. He's like, so it was, like it wasn't one of his more visible actions because paul krugman's more obscure right than aoc or something yeah it, it had about fifty thousand views overnight but then krugman wakes up and decides hey you know what i'm gonna give this a little boost here so he tweets out last night at a cuny event about perceptions of the economy we had a guy yelling about biden refusing to help helene victims who had to be escorted out so trump's lies have gone viral so that got two hundred eighty-five thousand views in and of itself so Jose quote tweets that, yeah, that was me, you twat. Enjoy the video uh, in full, you quackademic. And that got 233,000 views as of last night. It was up around half a million at the start of today's show. And I would imagine it is uh, coming up to about a million now. It got the retweet. Oh, yeah. So it got a retweet from Jack Posobiec, who was one of the Rescue the uh, Republic speakers there. So... Jack's retweet got 600,000 views alone. And so Jose's original post is now up to 620,000 views. Okay, so now, because Krugman decided uh, he would pick this fight the morning after, now it's got well over 1 million views. <laughs> so it went from 40,000, 50,000 nice to over a million. Yeah. He, he, just couldn't resist the, uh, he just couldn't resist the virtue signal. Right. He had exactly. to do it. He had, had to, to do, do it. it. Yep. Um, well, you know what? Because probably, I mean, I think the reason he and that, did that. And, that's, and it's deceptive. That's not what Jose said. Jose no. did not scream that Biden 
refuse to help Helene victims. <coughs> what he's screaming is the resources being don't dedicated to that are not nearly adequate, and yet we are very quick to send hundreds of millions of dollars right. to foreign nations that we should not be funding. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, I think the reason he did this is because he probably, I mean, definitely didn't know who Jose was. He didn't know mm -hmm. that he has a following on social media. Uh, and he's earned that following by doing stuff like this. And so Krugman probably just thought, oh, that was some kid making a ruckus. And I'll just tell a nice story about that as a virtue signal to my lib followers. Not realizing, no, that guy actually has a, a quite the presence on the X platform, and uh, it was only a matter of time before he saw that and quote tweeted that, and now, yeah, what started out as a fifty thousand view intervention is now officially viral. Well, well over one million views at this point. Yeah. So nicely nice done, going, Paul. Nicely, yeah, nice going, Paul, and nice going, Jose. Uh, it is about a month to election day. It's October third. Election day is November fifth, and so this Saturday night. We are going to be doing a screening uh, of our film, Ruckus, The Making of a Revolutionary, which is a documentary that we made about Jose Vega. We shot it last April, and we uh, premiered it for the first time this past February. Uh, but we're going to be doing a premiere stream of that because it's not actually in our YouTube video library. It's only in our live stream library. We definitely want it for the video library. So we're going to do a premiere of that film on Saturday night. That'll be Saturday night uh, at 8 p.m. Uh, along with a special message from Jose. It's one month until the vote, so uh, yeah. we're going to give Jose a chance to make a little uh, pre-recorded speech, which we'll play in front of the film, and then we will show the film. So if you haven't seen the film yet, uh, you'll get a chance to watch that on YouTube and Rumble 31 days till election day, one month out, uh, we will be showing that film uh, with a speech uh, from Jose Vega uh, as well. So mark your calendars Saturday night. We'll see you all on YouTube and Rumble for the premiere. That's not a live stream. That is a premiere uh, video of that film with Jose's speech. So uh, that is our next sort of event, so to speak, uh, here on the channel. Please clap. <laughs> 